Well, the Knicks so-called dream week is finally over. All the hype, all the anticipation and the drama, and finally came the closure. One game out of three, that's not bad. Don't even look at it like that because the Knicks went through an eight-game winning streak, and that takes a lot. It takes a lot of confidence, a lot of guts, a lot of will, a lot of strength, a lot of endurance. Amari ended up setting records. Nine games now, 30-plus points. Uh, Felton, Sugar Ray Felton, the really made a point for himself. The game against Denver, he had 17 assists, season high, to go with 19 points and two turnovers. He did his thing throughout all the games, throughout the whole week. Wilson Chandler, who I'm a now call no longer ill well, but Will Maddox. Combination of his will and his ill-matic game, his penetrations, his timely three-pointer. Our rookie sensation, Fells, Landry Fells. The kid is special. He got ESP, extrasensory perception. We're going to say extra special perception. He's gifted, he's talented, he's intelligent. He has point guard vision. He, that's why he can get rebounds. He see where the ball is at all time, where it's coming from, where it's going. Rookie of the month, he, he ended up getting even Gallo. Gallo's starting to get really into his own. He was really getting to his groove, that Boston game, as well as the uh, Miami game. And keep in mind, he got to hold the best players. He had to hold Carmelo Anthony when he played Denver, and he ended up getting 16 points out of that. He ended up, he had to hold uh, Pierce in the Boston game, and he got to hold LeBron in the Miami game. And he still ended up doing his thing. So kudos to the whole team this week. They really gave their fans a, a, a special Christmas gift. I would like to have one, all of them, but the reality is what it is. We got one out of the three games this week, and we have to do a lot better. We're going to get it together. We have one star. We'll, we'll just come back against Cleveland tonight at 730, because the harder we fall, the higher we bounce, because we the New York Knicks. You've been viewing Mike on the mic. New York Knicks post-game comments from a fan's perspective. And in part, I'd like to say peace, love, and basketball.